टेस्ट ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग फॉर्म एफिशेंट मार्केट हाइपोथेसिस हैव एनालाइज्ड रिटर्न्स ओवर टाइम फॉर डिफरेंट आइडेंटिफाइएबल इन्वेस्टमेंट ग्रुप्स टू डिटरमिन वेदर एनी ऑफ दीज ग्रुप्स हैव बीन अर्निंग कंसिस्टेंटली एबनॉर्मल रिटर्न इन द मार्केट एंड इफ इट इज द केस दिस मीन्स दैट सच ग्रुप हैव एक्सेस टू द प्राइवेट इंफॉर्मेशन एंड सच ग्रुप हैज आल्सो द एबिलिटी टू यूज पब्लिक इंफॉर्मेशन वेल बिफोर द अदर इन्वेस्टर इन द मार्केट इन ऑर्डर टू अर्न एन एबनॉर्मल रिटर्न स्ट्रॉन्ग फॉर्म एफिशेंट मार्केट हाइपोथिस सेज दैट स्टॉक प्राइसिस फुली रिफ्लेक्ट ऑल इंफॉर्मेशन बोथ पब्लिक एंड प्राइवेट दिस implies that no group of investor has access to the mark private information that allow them to consistently earn the above average risk adjusted or the abnormal returns in the market there are four types of investors uh, investment groups that have been studied by researchers in this particular case these groups are the corporate insiders stock exchange specialists security analyst and professional money managers so far as the corporate insiders are there uh, the studies show that insiders include major corporate officers directors and the holders of equity portion that is more than 10% of the firm's overall equity these insiders generally experience above average risk adjusted return Uh, particularly on the purchase transactions this implies that many insiders have private information which they used to derive the above average return on the transaction of their own company's stocks studies showed that the public investors traded with the insiders based on the announced transactions have enjoyed the abnormal Uh, returns but now it seems that the markets have corrected this anomaly uh, there are other studies that indicate that uh, one can increase his abnormal return uh, while using the insiders provided information in combination with the accounting ratios in case of the decisions taking during the uh, buying or selling of the stock so far as the stock exchange specialists are concerned they have particularly monopolistic access to the information on unfilled limit orders the empirical data support this expectation of deriving the above average uh, risk adjusted or the abnormal returns from using this particular information and the third case is the security analysts uh, the test in this case have consider to check the possibility to identify the ability of an analyst to select an undervalued security uh, a significantly abnormal return is available for those analysts who uh, for those investors who follow the recommendations given by such analysts evidence exists in the literature in support of uh, in in the favor of a uh, superior analyst who appropriately possess private information the last investment group is the professional money managers uh, trained professionals working full time at any investment manager management group have been studied in this particular case uh, the studies show that if any investor can achieve the abnormal return it should be the a uh, professional money managers group uh, if any non insider can obtain inside information it would be this group particularly due to to the extensive management interviews they have uh, in their portfolios test examine mutual funds also and the results indicate that risk adjusted after expenses of the mutual funds uh, such returns generally show that most funds did not match the aggregate market portfolio the conclusion for the test 
in testing the strong form efficient market hypothesis is there that it we have mixed results and much support in this particular efficient market hypothesis the test for corporate insiders stock exchange specialist uh, do not support the hypothesis because both groups seem to have monopolistic access to the private information and they use it to derive above average or the abnormal returns individual analyst recommendation uh, seems to contain significant information and performance of professional money managers seem to provide support for strong efficient market hypothesis